What's up my loves? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. My name is Lizelle and today's video is going to be a first impression on a new foundation from NARS. This is their Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I'm sure a lot of you guys would have heard of this by now, but it did just recently release here in Australia. I'm pretty sure at the end of January. So I only just got my hands on it the other day. I did buy this myself from Mecca Maxima. So let's first of all, just open it up and have a look at at the actual bottle itself. It comes in there like standard NARS packaging. So this is the foundation right here. As you can see, super sleek. I love the packaging of it. Open it up and it does of course come with a pump. Now this foundation does retail for, wait for it, $71, which is just $71. Like when you think about it, that money for a foundation like that could like full tank my car plus more. Like I could fill up my car with a full tank of petrol and then some, like that's just, mm. So in terms of the amount of product that you are getting for your money, this comes with one fluid ounce or 30 mils of product. I do like, again, that it comes with a pump. I feel like all foundations should come with a pump. And if I do use a foundation that doesn't have a pump, it's just because it's really good. But yeah, it comes with a pump. The shade that I am going to be using today is M1 Medium 1 Punjab. I'm hoping that this is a pretty good match. I am the same shade in the Sheer Glow Foundation, I'm pretty sure. And this is described as medium with golden peachy undertones, so fingers crossed. In terms of shade range, as you can see, it does come with 33 different shades across the board, which is pretty good. I feel like 33 different shades is pretty decent, but in saying that, I do feel like they could have gone a little deeper with it in terms of the darker skin tones that they have to offer. Now, before I go ahead and apply this to my face, I'm just going to quickly read out what the claims and details of the foundation are from their website. So it says that it is their first 16 hour foundation that has a lightweight, breathable, fade resistant formula and features medium to full buildable coverage. It also says that it is transfer resistant, sweat resistant, and stays true to color and fresh all day. And it has a unique combination of translucent base with micronized amino acid, coated pigments and mineral tone balancing powders that mimic the skin's tone. Fusing with it for the closest color match yet. That is like very technical with it. <laughs> but it also says that it has their skin optimizing complex, which is a blend of raspberry, apple and watermelon extracts that help support skin's elastic fibers to smooth and improve skin's appearance over time for optimal radiance. Wow, okay, that's intense. So yeah, that's what the details of the foundation are. They also do recommend that you apply it with your fingers. I'm not so much a fan of applying any products with my fingers, so I am going to be using this baby right here, the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. So let's get into it. I am going to go ahead and prime half my face. I'm just using my daily primer that I always use. This is the Inoxa Pure Silk Skin Primer. Typically, I would always prime my face when I'm wearing a foundation. Like I'm not going to apply a foundation without a primer, but I know that some of you guys do like to see like how a foundation reacts without a primer. So that's why I'm just going to be doing half my face and we can see the difference that it makes. As you can see, my skin ain't perfect. I do have like little bits of scarring, that kind of thing. I don't really have any breakouts. It's mainly just like scarring discoloration. So we'll see how that covers it up. I also have my freckles up here that you guys know. I have a patch of freckles on one side of my face. So let's go into the foundation now. I am going to take a pump. Oh, I should have done this first. Okay, interesting. That's it there. I feel like the consistency is like, it's kind of thick, but it's not. As you can see, it's running down my hand. It's kind of thick, I guess. As you can see, that's the consistency right there. But anyway, I'm gonna take that on my finger and just dot it on this side of my face. And then I'm just gonna go in with the dampened sponge and pat that over the area. Wow. Do you know how satisfying it is like to apply foundation and just see like everything smooth over? So satisfying. That's really pretty. I really like that so far. I'm gonna put some up here as well oh my gosh i'm really liking the finish that it's giving me so far and that's like just a light layer but look at that like you could totally just go with that but for the purpose of this first impression we're going to just apply the excess as well let me just quickly take another pump to the back of my hand 
I feel like the amount of product that it disperses with each pump is pretty decent, like it's not too excessive and um, it's not like a waste of product. Yo, that finish though. Okay, the finish of this foundation, I'm actually obsessed. If you can kind of see like the way that the lighting is like catching onto the high points of my face, it really does give you that like radiant glow. So that's one side of my face done. As you can see, it really has evened out all the discoloration and pigmentation and all that that I had. It hasn't like covered up my little freckles that I have here, but to be honest, I don't mind my freckles showing through, that's okay. I don't want my face to be completely like so we're just gonna go ahead and apply some more to this side of my face. This is the non-primed side now. Again, this is applying fairly easily, but I kind of just prefer the feeling of how it applies on top of a primer. I don't know, that's just like my mind playing tricks on me, I think, but regardless, it still looks really nice. I'm just gonna bring some down my neck you know, I want it to be all matchy matchy. Alrighty, so I think we're pretty much done here in terms of applying the foundation. As you can see, it's a pretty good match. I'm really liking how it's looking on the skin. Like it looks so beautiful and it definitely is giving me that like radiant vibe. I don't know if it's showing up on camera as it is in person, but from what I can see in the monitor, it's just like, my skin is just glowing and I love it. It looks really nice and I'm actually obsessed with the finish and the color and just everything about it. I love like the glow that it's giving me. But in saying that, we're gonna have to see how it holds up throughout the day because I do have super oily skin. Yes, your girl is the oily type. So we're gonna have to see how it goes. But in terms of first impressions for like how the foundation applied and how it looks on my skin straight up, I really, really like it. Honestly, guys, I cannot get over how it looks on the skin right now. It's totally living up to the name of the product itself, being natural and radiant. And yeah, just, oh, my skin looks really good. <laughs> Anyways, now that the foundation is applied, I am going to go ahead and finish off the rest of my face makeup. I'll come back and update you guys and let you guys know how it looks, how it feels, how everything applied over top. I won't be setting the foundation with any type of powder or setting spray because I just want to see how it works even though you know me i always set my face with a powder i'm not going to be doing it for this foundation because i just want to see what kind of potential it has without it so i am going to go do that and i'll be right back so it's been about 15 minutes since i was last with you guys i went ahead and applied the rest of my makeup and this is how it's looking and yeah i am honestly obsessed i didn't set it with any powder like i said and like just look at that the finish of it is just so beautiful and I feel like my makeup products and everything else that I applied to my face applied really nicely over top. I had no issues when it came to like blending in my contour, bronzer, blush, all that stuff. Everything was smooth. I feel like it's giving my face a really nice glow and I cannot stress that enough that it is exactly what it says it is, a natural radiant foundation. Of course I did apply concealer and I had to set my concealer with some translucent powder but that was only mainly in this area here like underneath my eyes and a little bit like down my nose. Other than that the rest of my face has not been set with any powder so yeah I'm really liking it so far. I'm obsessed with the coverage. I feel like it definitely is what it says it is like you can wear it as a medium coverage and then build it up to full. I would say that today I did go ahead and pretty much build it up to a full coverage and my skin looks so good, so flawless and I'm obsessed. So with that being said, I am going to continue on with my day. It's actually a really hot day outside today so it's the perfect conditions to test out this foundation. If I'm gonna be sweating, then it's gonna be today because it is 33 degrees outside. Yes, I'm currently sitting in air conditioning but if I do decide to go out later, I will let you guys know and I'll keep you guys updated. I'm really excited to see whether this does live up to the claims of being like sweat proof, transfer proof and they did say that it will last all day. I mean, 16 hours. I'm not gonna be wearing the foundation for 16 hours but that's a pretty big claim. So I am going to continue on with my day and I'll check back in with you guys in a couple of hours. All right guys, I'm back with an update for you all. It's almost 6 p.m. for me, which means that I've been wearing the foundation now for about five or so hours. So what I'm about to do is take a look in the mirror and see just how it's done so far. Damn, okay. First impressions. It looks so good. I have to remind myself that I didn't set it with any kind of powder and oh my 
goodness me, like it looks so good. I don't see any creasing happening whatsoever. Usually I do get creasing like on my forehead and in my um, natural expression lines and whatnot, but nothing, like nothing. It has not creased up at all and I have not set it with a powder, like what? In terms of difference between the primed side and the non-primed side, um, to be honest, I don't really notice a difference. Yeah, it honestly doesn't look different at all between either side. Like it looks, it looks the same. I seriously can't stop looking at it. Like I just can't get over the fact that there's no creasing, like nothing. Nothing has moved, nothing has faded. It's stayed put and my skin is still glowing. Like look at my skin guys. Look how good my skin looks right now. Like look at it. Oh, I can't get over it. And in terms of oxidizing or anything like that, I don't really feel like it has. Like I feel like the color match is pretty much on point and it's stayed on point since I've applied it. I can't go over the fact that it's like stayed put. I mean, my skin is probably just a little bit dewy in a way. Um, it is very humid over here today, but I like it. Like I really like how it looks. So, so far, so good, you guys. So far, so, so, so good. So I'm about to head out right now and I'm going to come back at the end of the night to update you guys and let you know my final thoughts and opinions. So far, I'm really excited and I have really high hopes because I mean, with my oily ass skin, it's looking pretty good. So I'll be back. All right guys, I'm back for my final update of the day. It is currently almost 10 p.m., which means I've been wearing the foundation now for almost nine hours at this point. As you guys can see, my hair is just all over the place, all kinds of frizzy right now because I have been outside where it's been humid, hot and raining, which has definitely put the foundation to the test today. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a look in the mirror and tell you guys what I think. So, still, it looks so good, oh my gosh. I kind of feel like the primed side has kind of held up a little better than the non-primed side though. I just feel like along this area here, this side just kind of, I don't know how to describe it, like it looks like it's more stuck there as opposed to this side, it kind of looks like it's just sitting on top of the skin at this point. But regardless, the non-primed side still looks pretty decent um, and I just can't get over the fact that there's no creasing. Like there's literally no creasing on any of the usual places where I crease up. So if it's like this without any kind of setting powder, imagine how stuck it would be with a setting powder. You know what I mean? Like it's just crazy that I don't have any creasing at all. I don't know if you guys are into this kind of finish that it's giving me. I feel like my natural oils have of course started to seep through. That kind of sounds bad, but I don't really know how else to describe it. It's like when I get oily, it just kind of comes through. But with this foundation, I feel like it looks nice. Like it just, gives you a nice glow. It doesn't look like cakey or anything like that. It just gives your skin like such a nice luminosity. I don't even know how to describe it right now, but you guys can tell I'm getting really hyped and like just excited about it. Like I really like this foundation. I cannot stop looking at it in the mirror. It's just crazy to me. I don't even want to wipe it off. I'm about to go to the gym right now, which is why I um, had to do this update now. I don't want to wipe it off. <laughs> It just looks so good. Anyways, in terms of my final opinion on this foundation. Now, let me say it is expensive. 71 Australian dollars for this foundation is very expensive. I get it. But if you are looking to invest in a good quality foundation that doesn't look crazy if you have oily skin like I do, then I would say that it would be worth it going to your local Mecca or Sephora, wherever you can buy NARS from and getting a sample to test it out on yourself because it is definitely Definitely worth trying. I'm not saying to go out and spend the money to go and get the full size, but definitely if you are looking to try it, it is worth trying. And I have no regrets about spending that much on this foundation because I know that I am going to get so much use out of this. I just love how it looks on the skin. Of course, I'm gonna need to keep using the foundation, testing it out with different primers and setting powder, of course, because I didn't set my face today and this is how it is. Like I can't get over that. The fact that I did not set my face and it's still all there. Like when they said that it wouldn't fade, they meant what they said. Like it has not faded at all. I have no patchiness happening, no streakiness. Like definitely did live up to all the claims and expectations that they put there for me. So yeah, I love it. I have to say first impressions, I'm so down for this foundation right now. Like, oh, I can't. I can't get over it. If you guys have tried this foundation, comment down below and let me know what you think of it. Just so that if you have a different skin type, we can all kind of chat in the comments and help each other out with that. If you did enjoy this video or you found it helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs 
up and if you're new and you're still here watching and you're not subscribed to my channel make sure you hit the little red button down below before you go so you don't miss any more videos that I post. If you guys have any other products that you want me to do first impressions on leave your suggestions down below in the comments. I'm always down to try out new things. And with that being said I hope you guys are having a fabulous week. I will talk to you in the comments section and I'll see you all in my next video.